Hello everybody, Shauna with Papa's Roast, and we are gonna be making our Irish cream latte, um, which is gonna be a part of our March DIY coffee box. Um, so a part of that box, you not only get all the ingredients to make your own Irish cream latte, um, but you also get your choice of a reverse tie-dye lucky t-shirt. Um, you get a green mint exfoliating um, coffee soap, and then you also get um, all of these ingredients and then you get a recipe card as well. Um, so really exciting. We'll make sure and link to that below this video. Um, so if you wanna purchase one of those, we're getting the boxes in March 1st and then shipment will be available within the first week of March. Um, so be excited for that and I'm excited to show you guys what we're making today. So for the Irish cream latte, we're gonna be using our Papa's Spice Brown Sugar. We're going to be using our Papa's Irish Cream. We're going to be using our Papa's Ultra Coffee Concentrate. And then we also frothed up a pitcher of milk. So I have about six ounces of hot milk inside of here. If you don't have a frother, you can definitely use a microwave. I like using my frother because I feel like it brings out the sweetness inside of the milk. And then also I like to use the froth in replacing my whipped cream. Um, that way it adds a little creamy top to it instead of using whipped cream. So what we're first gonna do is we're gonna take our ultra coffee. Um, so one tablespoon, for those of you that are using this already, <laughs> we, ask, we were doing two ounces before of a different formula, but this is ultra. So this is one tablespoon. Do not use two ounces of this, otherwise you will be through the roof. Um, but yes, one tablespoon of our ultra coffee is gonna go straight into the glass. And then since we're using two flavors for this recipe, um, when we usually use simple syrup in all of them, we'll do two full tablespoons. Um, but since we're doing two syrups, we're gonna be doing one tablespoon of each. So we're gonna put in one tablespoon brown sugar, one tablespoon of our Irish cream, and then we're gonna take our milk um, and when you froth your milk, always tap it and swirl it. That kind of mixes in some of that froth if it's been sitting for a little bit. And then I just use a butter knife when I'm at home. When I'm in my coffee trailer, I use a commercial um, cake. Actually, it's not commercial, but it's a cake um, frosting smoother. Um, it has a wider tip at the end of the spoon. So that way, when you're frothing a lot of milk, um, that froth doesn't go over the spoon. So we're going to take this. We're gonna hold that froth back, and then as soon as we get to the top, about an inch away, we're gonna start pouring in that foam, and then leaving it on top like that. So as you can see, instead of whipped cream, you have a nice creamy texture of just milk foam. And then on top of this Irish cream latte, you can garnish with like um, green candy bites if you wanna make it a little bit greener. Um, you can mix it with a little bit of chocolate, so you can do chocolate chips on top. Um, but this is the Irish cream latte. And again, it's a part of our DIY coffee box. Um, so we do also have a non-coffee alternative, which is gonna be our green mint fizz. Um, we'll be posting a video on how to make that later this week. Um, but if you like this, make sure and give us a thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe, and we appreciate all your feedback. Thank you guys. Bye.